All right, guys, let's do it. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well out there. Thursday morning, trips to the thrift. I'm very, very excited about getting into today's episode. Uh, thanks very much for joining. Hey, I just want to pause for a second and thank the new 500 odd subscribers we've had joined the channel in just the last 28 days. This little community of ours is growing pretty well. So uh, look, I really just want to say thank you uh, to ones that have watched over the last few months, but also to the new guys as well. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you get to comment, if you get to interact with the channel, it'd be great to meet you and say hi. So put that into the comments. And also too, I read a recent article that said for those who go out and do thrifting YouTube videos, if their viewers like the video before they go into the thrift, they're generally a better chance of finding great items. So I don't know, if you guys could just test that one out and just hit that like button for one second, that'd be very much appreciative. Um, look, we're going into four op shops today. Hopefully we can find some really good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna show you what stuff that is. I'm gonna show you what it goes on to sell for on eBay. So we are here at the first op shop, really looking forward to diving into it. Let's get started. I'll tell you what guys, we've run into a bit of luck to start the day there. I was in the off shop right near the book section where I overheard the ladies say that we'll do a daily special for today only 50 cent books. And not only was that a great result in the sense of a 50 cent book day, but I've actually found some good books that I could buy for 50 cents. And the first one that I stumbled across were these Snoopy books of old school, like I don't know, 1980s, 1990s, very old school Snoopy comic books. Now, I've got 15 of them here. Obviously, there are a lot more made, but to get a bundle of 15, I thought was pretty cool. Uh, these are in, look, for their age, relatively good condition. Um, if you have a look here, they're, they're just very basic, old school, generic um, Snoopy Snaps books. So I had a look at the comps for this. I knew that it would be okay, and the comps were telling me that I should make a couple. So I've picked them all up. They've cost me $7, but I have got 15 books. So I'm thinking maybe bundling them up and selling the 15 together, do it for like, 70 80 bucks something like that it's certainly what they're worth so that was an awesome find there with those snoopy books i haven't come across those before and the other one as well was i found seven books of saddle club as well so these have only cost me three dollars fifty for all of them and i know the dvds comp really really well on ebay so i thought the books would be the same and they are they're pretty decent so to pick all of these up what's good about these is they're actually a two story book so there's two stories in one um, so it's kind of like their value edition. Um, so I thought they were really good. Seven books, $3.50. How can you go wrong? There's going to be some uh, some money made in those. And then I also found in the shoes, just the one pair, but I thought they were pretty cool. I paid $12 for these. These were the Adidas Hardcore Dunk 2s, I think they were. Um, now, there are a few comps there around the $50 mark, which is generally what I sell my shoes for. I think in the end, I'm going to profit around 28 30 bucks when it's all said and done on these. So sort of within the ballpark of how I like to sell my shoes, 30 bucks profit. They were cool. Should move pretty quick, I'd imagine. And then uh, a couple of pairs of men's Levi jeans really just to end the uh, end the run um, got a pair of um, Levi 505s and a pair of old school like Levi denim curve classic straight leg 32s these were the old San Francisco um, logo so I hadn't actually seen these before but the comps were telling me that they may be worth about $30 I've paid eight dollars for those and then the other one were the 505s so I thought I'd grab them as well um, I think, what are they? They're a 32, 32 as well. So the size isn't too bad. Uh, they're in great condition and I've only paid $8 for these as well. I go into some up shop, op shops and they can be around the $25 mark for these sort of jeans. So if you can pick these up for $8, when you see them, definitely grab them. 
Uh, so I found the two pairs of Levi's as well. So uh, the books again for that op shop, for some reason, it just does well for me. And then obviously we had the special today for 50 cents for every one. So in the end, I think I paid about $10 for all of those books, um, the shoes for 12 and then the jeans at $8 each. So not too bad of a start there, not a whole heap of items, but certainly some money made to kick things off. And we're only at 9.30, so half an hour's work and we're already in the profit. Um, let's keep moving on, op shop number two. I've got a feeling about today, let's keep charging. Guys, op shop number two, all wrapped up, and uh, look, not too bad of a run there. I'll start with this board game. Look, to be honest, I spent a bit of time on this one. It was the um, Haunted Ruins board game. Now, this actually had a comp on eBay for over $50. I've paid two bucks for it. There's a little price there for it there for $2, as you can see. Now, look, I spent a bit of time in the shop because the last thing you want to do is put a board game onto eBay and have missing pieces. So, look, it is a little bit time consuming. It did take a little while for me to confirm that there is a complete set with this guy. Um, so when I did realize that I had to grab him for $2, I thought that was a good buy. I don't typically buy board games for that reason. It just takes a while. Um, these Asics uh, Gel Cumulus 17s, I do always grab when I find them. These were $7. They are in great condition. They're a women's running shoe. It's a US size nine, so that's only gonna do me favors. Um, I'm gonna give these a really good clean, some sugar soap, some gumption. Always buy your Asics shoes. I'm just a huge advocate for that. You guys know that if you're watching this channel regularly. Um, and also a pair of women's Nike shoes as well. These are a size nine as well. Plain black, that's gonna help me, I reckon, as well. Um, look, there's a little bit of wear up there at the top, but I'm not too concerned about that. I think overall, the soles are in pretty good nick. And I'm gonna going to try and push that for about 45.50. Um, now, I bought some action figures and I've said on this channel a lot that I buy books, DVDs, shoes and clothes and sure enough, there, are, there I am buying action figures. But I couldn't say no to these. I've, I've ended up buying the Chewbacca. I've ended up buying Finn as well. So a couple of Star Wars action figures. They are actually quite large. Have a look at Finn. He's, he's, he's monstrous. He's absolutely huge. Um, so I had to grab him because uh, I reckon I'm going to be able to make a few bucks on him. And then I found this uh, WWE wrestler. Let me know in the comments below who he is. I don't know who he is. Um, I think he's a pretty popular action figure um, in the wrestling range. So I've just bought him because he's a monster. He's absolutely huge. Have a look at the arms. Look at those biceps. My goodness. Anyway, I've grabbed him. And um, look, it's a first for me. I don't really buy too many action figures, but I just think with those guys, there's probably a couple of dollars to be made. And the last thing I bought, guys, in that op shop run was this Snoopy, or so, not Snoopy, that was op shop one, Spot Loves, um, Spot Loves Story Collection. So there's five books in there. Uh, believe it or not, I bought this for three bucks and there's some comps for $38.50 on eBay. So that was the reason why I've picked up Spot. Um, I do remember Spot back when I was a kid, so no wonder he's comping well on eBay. Um, that'll do us, guys. Op shop number two, all wrapped up there. Some action figures, which is a little bit different. Board game, which I don't typically buy, and then some stock standard shoes uh, and books as well. So we're going to move on to op shop number three. I really want that Hail Mary, though, to uh, to round out this day. We're going to do two more op shops, so stick around. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Remember, good luck for op shop number three and four. Hit that like button if you haven't done so already. Let's keep pushing on. Always be the
Tell you what, I became very demotivated when I walked in and I saw a Valentine's Day special, 50% off store-wide happening tomorrow in this op shop. And I really didn't want to buy anything after I saw that. Uh, but I did have a bit of a look around. I had a good look around, to be honest, because I really wanted to find some great items. And I've only come away with four. To be honest, it wasn't the best op shop. Maybe that mentality that I went in with probably didn't help me on my hunt. But uh, I did find these uh, women's running shoes. I've done all right with the shoes today, guys. I've been able to find a few. Uh, these are in really good condition. They're a pair of New Balance. I know the sun's playing a bit of an effect on this, but um, look, what are they? They're a size... They were size eight and a half. So size eight and a half, really good condition. Not a lot of wear, just a little bit up there. Uh, but I paid $10 for these. And um, I do, with every pair of shoes, think I'll be able to turn them into about 50. So there's gonna be that $30 profit made on those. This was a really cool find though. To be honest, I don't come across a lot of Ed Hardy, uh, but this was double-sided. Um, black, very cool design. Ed Hardy's got some pretty unreal uh, designs on their clothing range. And uh, I've spied this one for just $8. So I have picked him up. He's a double XL. It's a men's polo shirt. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was really cool. Ed Hardy comps fairly well on eBay. So I thought I'd just take the risk and, and buy that for the very first time. Um, found a pair of jeans as well. Diesel is a great brand, guys. If you can find Diesel, uh, there it is there. Hopefully that can show up okay. Um, but yeah, Diesel's a great brand. These are a size 30 waist. So they're a little bit smaller than normal, but uh, I only paid $8 for these. So I figured I'd, I'd just cop them. Um, so they're in great nick. Uh, I'll try and turn them into about 30, 35, I'd say, for a pair of diesel jeans. Um, I'll double check the comps. But a um, couple of DVDs as well. I have lashed out on these at $2 each. I always like to get them for at least 50 cents to a dollar. Uh, but they were comping around about the $20 mark. I found the Yu-Gi-Oh! The movie. Um, so I think I would have put some comps up earlier for you to have a look at. But that one was about 20 bucks. And then I think um, Pooh's um, Halloween special was about $18. So I've paid $2.50 there. I've paid $2 there. So $4.50 in for what was comping out at about $35. Bucks. Um, so not too bad with the DVDs. Um, and that was everything. So it wasn't it wasn't a hell of a lot. I spent thirty dollars in there on those items, and if I went in tomorrow, it'd only be in fifteen. So it kind of uh, annoyed me a little bit, but that's okay. It's still not too bad of a purchase out of that run. Uh, we're going to do one more, and fingers crossed, we can absolutely come away with a really good finish here because I need it. It's been a good day, and I've got a lot of items, but I don't have that home run item yet, and I really want to find it. So fingers crossed, it could be in the last. Let's do it.
I tried to spend so much time in that last stop shop to find some really good stuff to finish on and I've come up more or less empty handed. There's not a lot here to, to go through really. Uh, I've been able to find a really good brand that I do want to talk to you guys about though and it is Herringbone Sydney. Uh, for those in Australia especially, if you can find this brand, it does comp very well on eBay. So I'll put some comps up here for you to have a look at but I actually found two of these shirts. Um, this was the first one, a slightly smaller size. Um, but this one was a really nice blue check as well. So Herringbone Sydney guys, if you do see it when you're out in the thrift, um, definitely grab it. Now I've paid $4. It was very fairly priced at $4 each. So I wasn't gonna be saying no to these. They were um, a couple of really good shirts. I think I can turn them into $60. And uh, I've paid just eight for the two of them. Um, a lot of the t-shirts in there and the button-ups were all sort of around the $8 price point and you're just not going to make a profit on those. So there were quite a number of t-shirts especially that I saw that I would thought about picking up but at $8 I just couldn't do it. So luckily the herringbones were only at $4 which I have no idea why but um, they are in great condition. Um, so I grabbed them. Um, and this one as well, a pair of Air Jordan um, sh uh, basketball shorts as well. So there's the uh, Air Jordan Jumpman down the bottom there. Uh, it's even got the Air on the uh, on the right hand side as well. So these were a, a ripping pair of pants or a ripping pair of shorts, I should say. Uh, they're the dry fit size large as well. So look, these are going to go for upwards of thirty dollars, uh, I would imagine. Now I've just paid four dollars again for these, so they're in really good nick, um, size large. It's uh, all lining up to be a pretty good fast sale, I would imagine with those now i got a little bit frustrated because i only got those three items i spent 12 dollars in that last stop shop but i went to the nike factory which was just next door and i tried to do a little bit of re uh, retail arbitrage and uh, i have come away with two purchases so i thought i would show you those as well today um footy season is just around the corner i love to thrift my footy boots as you know i've been able to find the superfly 360s now these are the fg pros um they are worth i believe 190 dollars retail and i was able to pick them up for just 50 uh, 60 bucks actually i've paid 60 so i'm going to try and list these on facebook marketplace for 120 uh try and double my money uh let them know that they recommended at 190 and uh, see if i can't make 60 bucks on these ones but Brand new, um, with tags still in its box, so that was a cool little pick up there. And then I've also found a pair of casual shoes as well. These are the Joyrides, the Nike Joyrides. So these are $200 recommended retail shoes, and I've been able to buy these for just $40. So a very cheap price. The special was basically two for 100, and um, yeah, I've been able to pick these up at a pretty good rate. I, I think I'd be able to flip both into 120 on Facebook and uh, that would ultimately mean I'm making about $70 each on uh, both pairs of shoes. So probably $140 worth of profit uh, in those if they can sell on Facebook Marketplace, no fees, obviously. Uh, so fingers crossed I can get them up straight away, especially with the footy boots leading into the footy season. I think they should move pretty fast. And if that is the case, then I will be coming back here and buying a hell of a lot more. But uh, cool little one to end the episode. There's always opportunities no matter where you look. As long as you're doing your right comp searching, you're gonna come away with some profit. So look, today's episode, um, by far away, not the best that I've ever done in the thrift, um, but that just goes to show that you never a guarantee of finding what you're looking for. But uh, look, we've still been able to pick up a good 20 to 25 items here. There is still some money made and uh, I'll be back, back out again over the next couple of days and fingers crossed we can find some gold in, in those visits. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Keep thrifting hard. Uh, let me know what you've found this week in the thrift and uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you in the next episode.